In the cell signaling world, protein kinases hold a special place. Proteins that can transfer phosphates from ATP to another molecule are called kinases. Proteins that remove phosphates or dephosphorylate are called protein phosphatases. Let's look at how they work in a phosphorylation cascade. At the cell surface, a signal molecule interacts with a receptor protein. Once attached, the signal molecule changes the shape of the receptor protein into an active form. This could activate a relay molecule inside the cell. That active relay molecule activates the first kinase, probably by binding to it or attaching a phosphate. The active kinase can add a phosphate to a second kinase. Kinase 2, once activated, might activate a protein by adding a phosphate to an inactive protein. Then in turn, that active protein will do something like turn on a gene or break down the cytoskeleton. Each activated molecule can be deactivated by a phosphatase that will remove the phosphate Each activated molecule can be deactivated by a phosphatase so that the signal doesn't stay in the on position forever. No original signal means no relay molecule activated and eventually all active proteins are switched off by removing their phosphates. We know of hundreds of kinases that probably regulate thousands of proteins. The cyclin-dependent kinases and other related kinases like them are closely involved in cell cycle regulation and abnormal kinase behavior. For example, always being turned on or off, and that's linked to cancer.